Hi guys, it's Miss Boyer here. I am putting together a video to show you how to create your name in an optical illusion effect. So you can use a couple different things. Um, first thing is I'm going to be using a junk piece of mail. Um, I ripped part of it off. You could use any type of scrap paper sitting around your house. Make sure it's clean or, you know, not much writing on it. You could use a paper towel. If it has texture on it, don't worry about that, meaning like these little designs and bumps, you could use that as part of your design. If you have cardboard from say like a pizza box, you could use that. So there's tons of things that you probably have laying around that you wouldn't think of to be doing this on. I am gonna be doing it again, like I said, on this paper. You can use a marker, you can use a pencil, you can use a pen, technically any instrument you have that you can write with. Um, I'm going to start off with a pencil. So for this project, you're writing your name um, in box or bubble letters. So I'm just going to write Nancy. Now, when you do this, make sure that your letters are not touching. Also, if you do not know how to do bubble letters, a quick trick is you write it regular and then wrap it in a bubble. So we have talked about that a little bit and then you would come back in and erase this inside. Okay? And then you could do that for all of the letters. And again, do not let them touch. Now you can tell this is scrap paper because coffee stains, which I'm gonna be coloring over that. I don't even care about that. So I got my name. Your next step is you are then going to be drawing lines. These lines can be wavy, they can be straight. Um, for this, I'm going to show you that if you do not have a ruler, I cut this off of my good old pizza box. And what you're going to do is you're going to start taking lines from one side of your paper to the other. Again, they don't have to be straight. They can be wavy but they must go through your letters from one side to the other, okay? Um, the more lines you do, the harder this project is. So if you've never done this before, I would advise that you kind of keep this, this first attempt simple, okay? Um, and again, your whatever line you do must go through the letters from one side to the other. Um, you can use a straight edge if you want. Now the point of this project is to create an illusion where your your name's kind of hidden, but your eye you have to use your eye to find it. So we're gonna act like that's my project and I'm done. You could obviously keep going with lines because I didn't have I don't have many here and I don't have many there. But so I already have an example started with color that I want to show you. So when you get to color. Again, you can use you can use many things to color. Making sure I'm on the camera here. You could use marker, you could use colored pencil. Um, I wouldn't advise paint because that can get a little um, sketchy, you know, with running into other areas. So the point of this is when you color, it should be like a checkerboard. So I'm doing red and white for now. Red, white, red, white, red, white. So I colored all the way up until my Y so I can start showing you what that looks like when you color your letters because it gets to be a little bit more confusing. So yes, we're still going with the checkerboard effect, but now I'm looking at individual pieces. So this would stay white because it's next to a red. This is a cross from the red. So that would be a red. And then once you hit a line, you stop. So red, white, red. So this whole weird piece here of my Y would be red. Now, the key to this looking neat is neat coloring. No white speckles in your coloring. Um, you can use a pencil. If you do a pen, it's a little bit harder, gonna take you a little bit longer and it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to get um, solid pieces. So hopefully you have a pencil or a marker um, to utilize for this. So 
here is white, so this is red. When I hit a line, I stop coloring. White, this would be red. You will eventually start seeing a pattern. And you do this until the entire thing is done. Now, I could go back in and I could color my white a different color, like red and black, red and blue, whatever, whatever you desire. So now again, this is on a smaller piece. You can do this as large as, or as tiny as you want. I feel like the larger it is, the easier it is. And if you do extra pieces, extra credit, extra tickets. Now I'm going out of the lines here because this is on my, my sketchbook pad. So, and then I will continue all the way across. So that whole thing is finished. All right. So have fun with this, guys. I'm excited to see it. First names only, please.